modern data-driven organizations, there's broadly two kinds of data that they, they deal with. On the one side, you have static data. You have relational data. You have data gathered from other web services. You might have data lakes. There's, there's large numbers of, of contextual data, I'll, I'll call it, that, that kind of represents you know, what the, the structure and, and intentions of, of that organization or of that business are. On the other side, you have streaming data. And streaming data really represents what's happening right now. And the challenge, I would say, of the, the, the cutting edge challenge in the data space is how to understand what's happening right now. The truth in the world as represented by your streaming data in the context of what you're trying to achieve, your, your business context, uh, which is represented in your, your databases or your, your static data sources. And to do so with humans in the loop. Because at the end of the day, it's really humans that, that software serves. The reason we do anything in software is to, you know, to, to help humans, to help them achieve their goals. So how, how, do we, how do organizations go about solving this problem currently? So there's really, just as there are two kinds of data, there are two broad approaches to solving data problems. Uh, in the case of streaming data, you have streaming analytics. And, and streaming analytics will look at events coming in. They can transform events. Maybe you, you look at a, at, a, at a brief window of events. Um, but streaming analytics really are, are designed to understand that streaming picture. They aren't necessarily designed to incorporate the static data, the, the contextual data uh, that represents what, what a business is trying to achieve. It doesn't account very well for that business context. Of course, on, on the other side of the picture, we have databases and big data analytics. And, and big data analytics are extremely sophisticated. You can aggregate, reduce, transform, group, correlate. You have a, a rich set of capabilities for understanding your static business data. Of course, the problem is it lags behind and, and struggles to account for what's happening right now. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of overlap between what your streaming analytics are able to do, what you're able to derive about what's happening in the world right now, there's not a lot of overlap between that and big data analytics about how your business is doing, are you on track, and, and this is a problem. And where Swim fits in is to, to, to really bring those worlds together, to, to do what, what most organizations set up to do, to understand what's happening right now in the context of their business and to keep humans in the loop. That's really what SWIM enables at, at a very high level. So how do we go about it and how is it different than, than current approaches? The first part of any approach to big data is make heavy use of, of the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web is ultimately how most data is exchanged. There may be middleware platforms that transform and, and process data. But the World Wide Web is how we model our outputs. We model our APIs. It's what our user interfaces, it's what humans use to communicate with that data. And, and so the capabilities of, of the World Wide Web really put a bounding box on what we're able to do in the application space to understand the, the real-time, real-world picture of, of an enterprise. And it's a very good model. The, the World Wide Web is brilliant. You have these, these deep concepts like you know, universal addressability and hyperlinks, the idea of modeling relationships between documents. Uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful concept. So the first step to fixing this picture, to understanding what's happening in the real world, what's happening now in context of your business, is to create a stateful active World Wide Web, something that allows every resource in the web to be an, an active process that can follow along with the real world and, and stay up to date. And, and, and SWIM creates a foundation for this, this stateful real-time World Wide Web by upgrading the notion of a, a web page or a web resource to be what we call a web agent. You know, you think of a travel agent. A travel agent is someone who does something on behalf of, of you, on behalf of a user or, or a system. So a, a web agent is a hyperlinked entity that actively acts on behalf of, of a system. So... The way that we construct these web agents is similar to the way that any application creates web resources. In Swim, you create web agents out of database entities. But unlike the, the World Wide Web and, and web services where web services are stateless and ephemeral, you know, uh, return a response and then go away, 
a web agent sticks around. It remembers what it's doing. So it's able to reason about and understand how uh, an entity evolves over time. So what do you do next? The, the next step is to finally bring that streaming data into the picture. And the trick is to take your streaming data sources and flow them or, or wash them over these, these stateful web agents. Uh, so these, the web agents get their context, their base information about who they are, their self-awareness from, from your, your static data sources. And, and they remember that because they're stateful and they stick around. And so now as these web agents receive streaming data from, from your real-time data sources, they already know who they are. They know what they're trying to do. And so they have the context that they need to understand what that, that streaming data means. So the, the key to making a state for World Wide Web work and what the SWIM platform provides is a runtime that essentially dynamically maps these, these stateful web agents to available compute. So rather than having a, an architect decide ahead of time, you know, we're going to run these capabilities on this sets of machines, you know, these machines are going to be a database, these machines are going to be a message broker, these machines are going to run this application feature. You create web agents logically and swim OS like an operating system dynamically juggles all these web agent processes and maps them to available compute. And it does that with a vertically integrated stack that runs everywhere because it is, it is self-contained. So whether it's in the cloud, on-prem, or in the network edge, the Swim OS stitches all of uh, the compute you, you've allocated to it into a uniform fabric and is able to dynamically map web agents to the most appropriate place in, in your compute fabric to, to execute the logic of, of those web agents. Now, putting all the pieces together, what you end up with is this, this stateful model of your business as it exists today, as it is evolving and unfolding, informed by your streaming data, and in full context and awareness and alignment with the objectives and, and structure and relationships of, of your business and the things you care about. Once you, you have these pieces stitched together, the, the key to answering that question about how you understand your streaming data, how you understand what's happening now in the context of your business is to run your application logic, your general purpose business logic, and your analytics inside these web agents and continuously provide the outputs of that to, to your users so humans are, are brought along with this story, that humans are kept in the loop and... And humans, therefore, inherit this ability to understand and perceive what's happening in the real world right now, continuously, in real time, all the time. This enables a new generation of real-time experiences and real-time applications that your web browser, instead of becoming, you know, a one frame per minute snapshot of, of some environment, they become a 60 frame per second ultra high definition movie that, that captures the, the full detail and nuance of how your your application is is behaving of, of the key KPIs, the key information that you need to know so that you, you know this all the time. And that is how you solve the problem of understanding what's happening in the real world right now in the context of things that you care about.